We've been through this. Rebecca, I, I won't breathe a word to your dad about me helping out here. I'm just saying discretion is the better part of Rebecca, valor. Rebecca, it's fine. I thought I heard your unpleasant tones. I'm just here to see how Rebecca is. Oh, good. You know how much I love your company. Ignore him. Now the brandy's gone, he's back to his usual grumpy self. It's great. I keep telling you, I was having no more than a nightcap. And there'd be a damn sight less need for that if he wasn't around all the time. And I keep telling you that even a nightcap is bad for your condition, which is why I threw the stuff away. Coffee? Mm, thanks. Yeah. What? She's right, that's all. You need to look out for your health. Oh, Robert. Really? You don't care. Let's not pretend you do. Well, supposing I told you that things have changed since the baby. Supposing I told you to go drown yourself? I'm serious. And I don't want the mother of my child losing a dad because of a stupid bottle of brandy. That stupid bottle, as you call it, was a gift. My last gift from Ronnie. Well, I'm sorry, but it's all gone now. And all the better for your health, it seems to me. Well, surprise, surprise. Now we know who's been whispering in Rebecca's ear, don't we? Well, maybe you should think about what she's saying. What you're saying to her, you mean? Just give drinking the elbow, Lawrence. It's for your own good. I knew it. I'll do what I want, OK? And whatever Rebecca says, I'd prefer it if this was your last visit. About earlier, I didn't mean to say anything to upset her. Oh, I know. And so does Rona, I'm sure. She's dealing with it as best she can. There's no need for this, Rebecca. Will you stop it? You're behaving like a child. I'm a grown man, for heaven's sake. I'm behaving like a child. Well, what's happening here? Look what he bought in town. Well, that's not orange juice, is it? I bought myself some brandy, much like the bottle that Ronnie gave me. But as I keep telling you, it's no business of yours. I'm trying to help you. We both are. I have to be in a pretty desperate place to want your help. Oh, I wish I could make you understand. I'm, I'm trying to support your daughter while she supports you. And that starts with the truth. You need to lay off that stuff. I'm sorry if this upsets you, but I'm going to live my life as I see fit. And no amount of pouring it down the sink is going to change that. No matter what he tells you. <laughs> 